I'm NJ Vance Media Giants reporter Matt Lombardo, and this is the Talk is Cheap NFL Week 13 Giants update. The Giants are riding a seven-game losing streak into Sunday's game against the Green Bay Packers after falling to the Chicago Bears 19-14 last Sunday afternoon at Soldier Field. Adding injury to insult, wide receiver Golden Tate suffered a concussion when he landed awkwardly on his head after catching a fourth-quarter touchdown pass, and earlier in the game, safety Jabril Peppers was injured returning a punt. Neither player practiced on Wednesday afternoon. Meanwhile, the Giants could be without tight end Evan Ingram due to a foot sprain and tight end Rhett Allison due to a concussion. Neither player practiced on Wednesday. Wednesday, which means Scott Simonson and Caden Smith could once again be the starters this week. Last Sunday, Smith caught a first half touchdown pass from Daniel Jones. Pat Shermer has now lost 20 of his first 27 games as Giants head coach and is likely coaching for his job over the final five games of the season, so changes are to be expected. Some of those changes began last Sunday afternoon when rookie Julian Love replaced Jabril Peppers at safety and hauled down his first career interception. Likewise, Sam Beal began rotating with DeAndre Baker at cornerback opposite Janoris Jenkins. Shermer said Wednesday that Beal and Baker will continue to rotate this week against the Packers. According to Pro Football Focus, Baker who was one of the Giants' three first-round picks in April's NFL draft, is the lowest-graded cornerback in the entire NFL. The Giants also made some roster changes this week, releasing wide receiver and special teams contributor Benny Fowler. Wide receiver Damari Scott took Fowler's place on the 53-man roster. Wednesday, the Giants also activated edge rusher Kareem Martin from injury reserve, ending wide receiver Russell Shepard's bid to return to the active roster. Shepard's been sidelined since week three with a fractured foot, but became one of the Giants' more vocal leaders in practice in recent weeks and said on Wednesday that he felt 90% healthy and pretty confident that he could return sometime over the next two games. Shepard also says he hopes to finish his career with the Giants and has had informal contract talks with the organization about returning to the team on a new deal next season. After kicker Aldrick Rosas missed two field goals on Sunday afternoon, his second and third misses in 12 attempts this season, the Giants worked out four kickers this week. Rookie quarterback Daniel Jones continues to show promise, tossing two touchdowns and no interceptions against a very talented Bears defense. However, Jones also lost his 10th fumble of the season, and the Bears converted it into a touchdown on their ensuing possession. Shermer's job security is likely tied more than anything else to Jones' continued development this season and beyond. The Giants host the Green Bay Packers at 1 o'clock on Sunday afternoon at MetLife Stadium and are six and a half point home underdogs. I'm Matt Lombardo, and this has been the Talk is Cheap Giants Update.